Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22, as we continue our start from scratch map here on Elm Creek. And as you can see, I'm almost done making all these mini, mini bells. That might be more than 30. I, can't, <laughs> I think I was off by a bit. We'll find out here soon enough. Almost ready to start, uh, start picking them up. Two more passes and we are done. Hopefully we have a good even or a good amount of bales, I guess. Nothing like half imp, half full, I should say. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be able to finish this one. We'll get a little bit of another one, I think, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Guess it's a good thing I did this last little bit here then, huh? <laughs> just just about. I'm going to get a little bit more. I'll go ahead and pick it up just, just in case. I think we might be able to get a little bit of a refund back from turning in the contract. But uh, I'm going to put this, these couple of bills. We should have, what, is there just one in the thingy right now or two? Let's see. Um, turn off. Unload. There are two. Good. All right. Well, there we go. There's that. Let's get you off to the side and start picking up some bales. Probably one of the funnest things to do because I like the way the automated bale picker upper does, does stuff. It's kind of funny. Not funny. It's kind of cool. All right. And our other tractor brought it over here for us. Very nice of you. Get you unhooked, get you out of the way. She likes this class tractor a lot too. It's nice. It's a nice tractor. That is one thing about doing contracts. You get to play around with some of the bigger equipment that you can't technically afford yet. All right. Here we go. I think this is 24, right? I think it is. We'll find out soon enough. Nope, it's 16, isn't it? Or uh, no. It would be 16, would it? Because if 4 is 28%, if it was 16, it'd be 25%. So what is it? 14? Maybe 14? Yeah, I think it is because we're about to get 50% at 8. Right at 7, I mean. Yep. All right, so it's 14. Okay. Uh, then it'll at least be two loads, maybe a little bit of a third. I don't think there's enough hay stragglers out here to fill up another bale. That's thir that's fourteen or twelve. Sorry, that's twelve. Here's thirteen and fourteen. All right, where are we going with this? Let's see here. Um, guessing up here somewhere. 
Oh yeah, way up there. Well, let's let's get you going then. Um, so I want to check on our other guys real quick and see if we can kind of get another contract. You'll be able to go. No. Yes. Oh. All right. Let's get you out to the. Let's get you out to the road. I think you can be able to go once I get you out to the road. Hopefully. If not, we'll just hoof it up there ourselves. You are... There you go. Like, are you really going to be having troubles here? Sitting there wasting my money. All right, let's you run on that thing real quick. We're going to check on you. You are almost halfway there. And then we're going to see if we get another contract or anything. Oh, you're not even close to halfway. Why does it look like halfway? I guess the field's wider. No, I see it now. I was looking kind of more at this side over here. I'm pointing at the screen. Over by these red, these these trees over here to my right. It's like, oh, that doesn't look that far away. Uh, but then I want to look at the other end. <laughs> it's quite a bit wider. Um, all is good. We do have other bailings we can start working on, I suppose. They are worth some good money for us. 14 and 18. Uh, I know 14's in the top right. Is 18 up there with it? Oh, yeah, 18. 18 is the one that I had the most trouble with, the bales rolling away from me. They they started rolling down this highway. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but a bit problematic. Um, and I think yeah, if you're going to do round bales, then I definitely don't want to do that. Truth be told, I don't want to do any of those up there. Uh, I, I'll do these up here in this quadrant. I think these down here are just a little too hilly. Um, so I might do the 14. Might be worth it. I don't have anything else I can work on, do I? All these plowing I don't want to do. I don't want to do the harvesting because they go to Goldcrest. I'm still tempted to try this one. But... I'm tempted to try this one. You know what? We won't know unless we try, right? Oh, no. 70 was the one that was the really bad field as well. Never mind. I don't want to do the cultivators unless they have a really big cultivator, which I don't think they're... I mean, is, there, is there a big cultivator? Like, this is probably the biggest cultivator you can get, and I just don't think it's worth it. 590 bucks for that. This is not worth it. So we will do... We'll do this one, I guess. Um... I'll try it. It's getting late. Hopefully I can at least get one of these hay bales loads dropped off. I actually turned the right way. Goodness. <laughs> I know how to do this. I just didn't do it right. All right. Get you picked up and have you drive up to field 14. We'll get you on this little dirt road right here. All right, you're going. You're good. There's not much for you to do right now. Worker C's blocked. Really? Fine. How close are you? Oh, you're real close. We're almost there. It's down this road up here to the right. Did we get the snow in December or is it January? I don't know what it would be. I mean, I would assume snow in December, but I know some places don't don't get snow in December, so they don't get it till like later in the year. In fact, where I'm at right now, I live in Colorado, where I live right now, we had a little bit of snow a day or two ago, 
But I don't think we're supposed to get any real snow that's going to stick around until mid-December, maybe. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy to think about, but we'll definitely get lots of snow in January and February. And I think that we get the most snow in April. It's, uh, or no, March. I think it's March is when we get the most snow. It's February or March, something like that. You would think December, but I think what it ends up being is, is later than I, I would have thought before I moved to Colorado. Um, all right, let's do the unload. Unload bells here. Does that say 101% transported? I'm going to be able to finish field 14 without doing field 14 because it's going to the same place and I already had hay bells. What? <laughs> But that's going to eat into my 71. But I know we have a, a few extra. Okay, this is going to be interesting. If it, if I could just use all these bales for both, and I don't even have to do anything more than maybe like mow, that will be very interesting. I mean, I still might want to do it so I can keep the bales for myself. I probably still will end up needing to do it because I need to finish off this contract, actually. It's a little weird. Well, note to self, don't do two contracts of the exact same thing. They're going to the same place, uh, unless you really don't care. Um... Let's see if I can get you back over here so I can get that other guy started. Come back down this way. All right. Get you rolling. Get you set up. In dark. That's not what I wonder what I'm trying to do. Back zoom out. I was like, why am I having trouble? Um all right, good enough. Go AI worker, go. All right, let's just keep an eye on our other guy. Watch him riding down the road. There he is. Like he would be going a little bit faster than that. Guess I could get my other tractor to bring some of the equipment up here. Um, come to think of it. So how about you make your way to the store? Oh, you know, I bet. I bet I could have used this mower. Wait, I wonder if I could have <laughs> used this mower to uh, speed things up over here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal now. We've already got this other guy, and it's going to go fast enough, but it is an interesting idea. Okay, you're still trucking along. You're good. You are good. You are good. I think he's only going to need, like, two more passes anyway. Uh, you're still getting back to the store. I forget where you were going. I guess you want to put this road up here. It's about to turn right. I mean, even if we can finish 14, uh, with the, all the bales off of 71 and 71 as well, um, I think we still need to do 14 so we can get the hay bales for ourselves to go sell. I feel like that would be the best move there. Oh, don't get stuck. All right, you're good. I'll probably have to do this last pass myself. I have a feeling you're going to have some issues with it. In fact, I will just do it just to be just to get it done. Turn you on lower. Okay. 
Contract on 14 is finished. Wow. I still want the hay, though. I still, I mean, that's part of the, part of the money that makes it worth it. And again, we may need it for, um, for 471 anyway. So, all right, hold you up. And let's see if we can get you coming back home or back to the store, I should say. Put you over here. Like you're good. You are good. It's getting dark. Yeah, we're almost done with this episode. A few more minutes. And let's grab you to pick up one of these pieces of equipment and go back up there. You've already got a front weight, don't you? You do. All right, go ahead and head up here, my friend. All right. You are good. Let's go grab you. Turn on our lights. Oh, this is going to be hard to see, isn't it? Oh, that's the one bad thing about it being this late. We are not going to be able to see these bales. Going to be hard to see these bells. I guess I should have slowed down time a bit. I mean, I could always fast forward to tomorrow and just pick it up then. But if it's snowing, I don't know what that might have to do with anything. What, what how that might change things. But what I can do is go ahead and slow it down for now. Let's get these done. The plowing one might be okay. In my way. <laughs> Push you around. At least the light's wide enough that I can see, like, you know, if there's a bell off to the side or something like that of me. Oh, there's one over there. Over to the left. Should have used my photographic memory to memorize where all the bells were. <laughs> sad thing is I know there's a at least two I think off the field itself in the outer edge grass and if we do like back and forth passes we should be able to find them all I hope we'll find out Kind of come out of the darkness. Surprise. Uh, one more. Well, there's another load. We're ready to go. Yeah, we're definitely going to have at least one more. Maybe two more. All right, let's get you going up to the drop off. Like that, grab you. You can go pick up some stuff to come back up to where we're at. Just go ahead and have you bring some of the front forks with us for now. And we already have them up there.
All righty, let's get you up here as well. Our other guy that's already sitting there waiting. This is such a tiny debtor compared to the one we had. Uh, the one we had over there on that big field. You can do this in just about one pass. Definitely do. One good thing about the smaller ones, though, is they do seem to have less issues with the shapes of the field because, I mean, and it makes sense. If, if you've got a big giant angle and... 80% of your wind rower is cut off because of that angle. Well, then the market's not gonna be like, I, I don't know what to do here. But whereas if you've got the smaller one, well, then it's a big angle. It doesn't matter. I mean, you're still covering it. So it's, it's more room for error, I suppose, or, or whatever uh, with the, the smaller size, but it just takes longer. You are still moving. Good. You are still moving. Good. Have to look at the map. Monitor them a bit. Four workers doing their things. That's a lot of that's a lot of money being spent <laughs> spent per second. I do have another tractor. I guess I could move up to 14, help me go faster. But at this point, I don't know if it matters that much. What I will do is I will grab you and just finish your job or your travel off because I'm going to have to unload up here anyway. Yeah, those are round bales over there. I was going to say I could use this trailer to go pick them up, but will not help me. Tempted to drive my that square baler up there to see if it will run it. Because if it will, I'd rather store these at my farm than the round bales. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. So don't know how much more we need to finish this contract. Ah, we've we got a long ways to go. We're going to need all this stuff, I think. I like how it just clears out, falls, clears out, falls. 53, yeah, oh, we got a lot more to go. We're going to need that in the other field. I'm pretty sure we will. Hopefully something didn't mess up with the way it calculates like how much it's actually putting in there and stuff. All right, let's get you down to the other field again. I'll just play off the side over here. It should be fine. All right, you're going. You are waiting. You are... I almost got two passes left, so you can actually get started. Oh, I was looking at the wrong direction. I was like, where am I looking? It's over here. Oh, worker G is having some trouble. We'll be there in a second, my friend. Oh, you're good now. They're all good now. <sighs> okay, what, two more passes left? Probably have to do the last one manually because it may not register as a full pass. Ah, it's doing most of it. I might be all right. I mean, that tiny little bit over there, I don't think it's going to matter. 
Well, then good job. All right, I'm actually going to cancel you manually because I don't think we needed that last little bit. Hold up the tether. Let's get you back to the store. Actually, I might go ahead and have you go back to the... Uh, let's see what's next. We got the wood rope. Okay, we have to do the baler next. I'm, I actually am kind of kind of curious if I can use this wind, this baler. Because I've been able to use weights for alternative things, right? But I don't think we can use the... Because the weight's just as a static object, right? And I think I've used the wrong tractors before, but I think the actual equipment might be specific. But I suppose we won't know unless we try. Um... Not gonna hurt to take that that tether over there. You're almost back. It probably won't work, but I think it's worth trying. It's one of the things I like to do in this game is experiment and see what what does and does not work. And like I said, we've never had more than one contract before, so we haven't been able to. I know you can't use contract equipment on your own field, right? Yeah, yeah. I've tried that before. But as far as using contract equipment on other fields that have the same type of contract, I don't know. Is there a way to see what this belongs to? At the field. I say there's a way to see the equipment. Which is rented by my farm. Yeah, so that's all it says. What are you doing? Oh. You were paused for a second, but you're fine now. So that was kind of weird. Um, You are back. Good. It's still getting late. There are still a lot of bales over here. I'm on. Let's go. Helps if I do it right. These are the last two that we did right here. And we're back to back. We're only 50% done transporting. We definitely have, you know, this 14 plus basically another 14's worth between, I guess, this field and that 14 field. So we definitely have more to, to get over there. We definitely have more than this trailer. I can see this one, obviously, we just picked up, and there's at least two more over here. Probably quite a bit more than that, actually. All right, well, there's 14 again, and yep, there's a couple more. So we are for sure doing another, another pickup. I think that's the last pickup, though. I mean, this makes, what, 28, 30, uh, 42? Oh, goodness, it's way over with 30 that I thought. My estimate was way off. All right, let's get you heading back up here. So I can move over to the other workers, help them out. Come on. All right, you should be going. You are done. 
Yep, you are done. So I can get you back to the store. Oh, I do need to drop off. I'm going to leave this fork here just to make sure I have it for whoever ends up picking up all the stuff when we're done. Window can go wherever. I guess I can leave it here too. I don't think it really matters. It'll get dropped off once the contract's done. I will go have you go pick up the baler just to be safe. But I'm going to bring the other baler back over here too. To be fair though, it's possible neither one of these tractors can run this baler. Uh, you are good to go. Up that wherever. Where did I leave that baler? Is it over here? I think it's the one down here in the corner. Oh, that is the wind roar. Or the tether, one of the two. That was the tether, actually. I kind of think of it. This is the baler. All right, so fold you up, left the pickup. <laughs> it's like it does not pull this very well. <laughs> does not have much horsepower to pull it. All right, let's get you up there and just, just to see. It'd be cool if it worked. And then we'll know. Slowly going to get going. All right, um, you're dropping stuff off. You are heading back to pick up the other baler. Let's go grab this guy real quick. Well, actually we're a bit over time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this stuff up. I'm gonna try and see if that other baler will work. And then I'll bring you guys back probably when I'm ready to turn the contracts in. And then we'll fast forward and stuff like that. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.